Hi, this is Lisa Perez Carrillo with Carrillo Cigars. So today's topic is our limited editions. Our limited editions are actually very special to us for several reasons. Firstly, uh, we sit together and we talk about it the year before. My dad comes across some tobacco that he loves that is probably most likely not available for a full production or is too expensive to buy in too many bales. So he kind of starts thinking about it and wanting to do something special with it. And that's the root of our limited edition. A lot of people ask us sometimes, how do you come up with the number of boxes, 1,000 versus 1,500 versus 2,000? And simple enough, it usually has to do with the wrapper and what we are able to procure. So here are three of my favorite limited editions. Um, it's missing one, which is the 2010, which was amazing with the Brazilian wrapper. But some of my other favorite ones are the inaugural 2009. Believe it or not, there's people still calling us for this. And I have kept five of them for myself in our humidor here, and I hold them very dear. This was basically my dad's departure from his previous, uh, I guess, role with uh, La Gloria Cubana. Uh, we had that company for many, many years, uh, dating back to Cuba, actually. And when my grandfather moved to the United States, he set up a factory on 8th Street. And that was um, one of our main lines. And basically when we decided as a family that my father uh, was no longer gonna be with General Cigar, who had actually purchased La Gloria Cubana many, many years before, we decided that he was gonna come out with something that actually differentiated him from what he used to make. And that, the uh, 2009 is the result of that. And we're very, very proud of how that result came about. Then there is the Dark Rituals. This cigar I'm especially proud of. There's still people asking for this. Uh, one of our very, very um, special employees actually took a bundle of mine that I had saved there um, kind of uh, because he loves it so much and figured why not? Uh, but I gave him permission to take it, so it's all fine. But the name Dark Rituals came from an idea that I had. Uh, my dad said I came across this dark wrapper and I can't wait to do something with it. And then I started thinking about what are cigars? What, what is cigar smoking? And in some ways it is kind of like a ritual, whether you do it in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, whenever you please to do it, it kind of becomes part of your life. Um, whether you do it once a week, multiple times a week, multiple times a day, it really is somewhat like a ritual. So people are still asking for these dark rituals as well. And yes, I did keep a few in my stash in the humidor. Then there is also the 2013 limited edition. And this one is really special to us because my brother and I had talked about the packaging and we wanted to do something kind of different. And that's where the tiger uh, look comes from, the tiger wood and we actually numbered each of these and we made 1500 boxes and this was one of the few that we actually had a 20 count because a lot of times our limited editions do come in 10 counts and the limited edition that we're going to have this year will be a 10 count box as well and it's going to pay homage to the inch which is our best seller in the size 64. so we have had a limited edition for the most part every year uh, one of the years was our fifth year anniversary and that was really special as well. So if you haven't tried some of our limited editions that might still be out there, I'm pretty certain you probably couldn't get your hands on one of these. But if you can have the opportunity to try one, maybe a more recent one, then I would certainly do so. And I'm sure some stores keep some vintage locker somewhere where you might even be able to stash, you know, one of these into your own humidor. So check them out if you can find them.